you know, I'm a big believer in uh, the non-existence of information overload. Because if it were that simple, then if I start restricting people's access to information, they should start feeling better. And they don't. Uh, they, 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 they still want the same. They want the information. They just want to be able to, to filter and arrange it in a way that makes sense to them. And that's why, you know, one of the things that I think about in terms of um, um, visualizations is like um, Google's new um, trend map, the, uh, the hot searches map that um, uh, pops up as, uh, you know, squares on a screen that are, that are uh, instantly sized and resized. Um, that's a way of making sense of a lot of information really quickly um, in, a, in a visual sense. And it doesn't, uh, and, and people can personalize it and they can adjust the flows in a way that makes sense to them. Um, and I think those kinds of capabilities are what's going to be um, necessary for people to be able to handle this, um, these, these kinds of different flows. So, I think the pro, you know, if we look though, so at one level there's a technology challenge, right? We have to have tools that allow you to um, construct flows in a way that's meaningful to you. Uh, but then at an organizational level up from that, we're going to have to have an organizational real realignment as to kind of what's your job and what kind of important contributions can you make to the company because what we might find out is that we have really good people who can sort information really rapidly into the correct buckets and we have people who we need to have thinking deeply for long terms about uh, certain items and crafting responses in that way um, and those aren't ways that we typically construct job descriptions uh, but if you look anthropologically, there are ways that we've constructed division of labor since we started having a division of labor in, in humankind that, you know, if, um, if you weren't as fast as me, but you could perhaps create, you know, spears or arrows faster than I could, then it made sense for you to stay home and do that. Because then I could go out to the hunt and I wouldn't have to worry about the weapons being available to them. You would have them available for me. And so, you know, I think there are uh, new ways that we need to construct uh, individual descriptions of, of jobs. But also those are going to be tied to larger team descriptions. So that, you know, we talk a good game about, well, we want people to work as a team. But we never hire for a team, right? You'd never go out if you're starting a um a soccer team, football team, and and hire all goalies, right? That would be that would be stupid. But but we because you want to operate as a team, you need forwards and wings and and defensemen. But we don't think about that at a at a corporate level. We don't think I need people who are kind of you know I don't know what they would be, but like an information goalie, right? I, I need an information wing. You know I need people to work together as a team to get that job done. I don't think we, we hire like that. I don't think we consider people like that. I, don't, I know we don't consider vacancies like, like that. Um, and so I think that's part of what, we've, what we're going to have to come to a realization of. Um, so it, there, you know, now we're back to the idea where it's not only tools, it's um, organizational as well.